YouTube, Electric Adventures here with uh, another little package in the mail and yes it's one of those dreaded padded post packs from an Australian seller so I'm not sure what we're going to find in here I mean I know what the items were that I bought but this is not really suitable packaging for what I bought right they have put some extra protection in there thank god Right, let's see what we have. So these popped up, they didn't cost uh, that much and I haven't had something for this particular system for quite some time. So, so that's the cardboard out of done. And then we have another layer, so thank goodness they have done a little bit more than I expected. Okay, now they're all for the same system. Um, and as I said, they're a system I haven't had any titles for for ages. And the first one, and so they are for the Sega SC3000 or SG1000 uh, console. The SG1000 is the console, the SC3000 are the computers. And it is Space Invaders. So it's just a loose cartridge, but it's in, if my camera will behave it's in the label as you can see is in really good condition um, and I don't have a lot of box stuff for the Sega anyway so it's always nice to get something in the box but I don't mind getting loose cartridges um, now next we have a Sega my card so yes the card games came out earlier than the master system for the Sega systems and we have golf and it's complete. Let's work out how to open this carefully. So we open him up. Um, oh, well, although we do look like we're missing the instructions, so when I say complete, um, we do have the little slipcase. So we'll take it out of that so you can see it properly. So the slipcase is a little yellowed, but the card looks excellent. And one more, a little bit more unwrapping to do. And in a way, this title is the one that I ordered the whole lot for because it just fills in another bit of um, uh, a sub collection that I'm working on, which is, and there are so many versions of this game on so many different systems, so it's a great collection to try for. It'll keep me going for a while, and it is Load Runner in card form. And I already do have a loose cartridge of this game for the Sega, but it's a cartridge and not the card version, so there you go. And the version of um, Load Runner on the Sega is actually quite good. So this one is complete, so we have the manual and the card. And this artwork here and the one on the front of the box is similar to the artwork on the... Um, the boss copy. Now I've only got that loose cartridge as well. Um, I have uh, got my eyes on a box copy just to upgrade that, just to keep the load runner collection going. So we have the card artwork is um, repeated on there. And it's got some really small text there. I don't think my camera is going to help us out there. Yeah, it's got license from um, Bradabounds software down there. Um, and it has a slipcase as well, so really, really good little additions to a system I haven't had anything for a little while. I just thought I'd, well, I mean, I have a search um, that pops up and most of the time it's just it's stuff that I'm not interested in. Um, but these ones popped up and they weren't too expensive for what they are. Um, and the postage was cheap too, so but whew, just luckily they um, packaged them up a bit more. Alright, so um, for the first time in quite a while, we can go play some Sega SC3000 games, so let's go give those a go now. Right, and here we go with Space Invaders for the um, Sega SC3000 computers and SG1000 game system. Um, I've just got a um, Sega Master System controller plugged in, which these, funnily enough, support. So we just press... Um, um, Start so it's reprogrammed by Sega in 1985. 
Uh, and it looks to be oops, quite a decent conversion of Space Invaders. Doing the old clear out the um, middle row so we can have a go at the um, at the UFO. Now it has the um, different coloured sections for the. Um... Oh, I just got that. Um, for the different rows, uh, they keep their colour when they come down, of course. We'll just wait for another UFO. So we do a bit of pot grab, and we've got um, bases down the bottom that are disintegrating, and their nice, you know, throbbing sound. Come on, where's my next UFO? There we go. Yep, and differing depending on where you hit the UFO. Different score. Now you've also got the slow and fast shots by the aliens, so you've got to be careful. This is a very respectable version of Space Invaders. Um, I would have been very happy to have this on a um, system of mine back in the day, especially since the very first system, home system that I had, um, which was a TI 994. Oops, oh, there we go. I jumped, I even jumped then. Um, had um, TI Invaders with it. And that was our one game cartridge. Ooh, there we go, 300. So I have the beat of the aliens is getting faster now. Yeah, dangerous. Be very careful with the ones that are close down. Especially if they do a fast shot on you. Well, I get extra life. See how fast he gets. Whoops. There we go. Clear the frame. And round we go again. that little bit harder. So um, I'm not sure if there's any of our game variations, so I'll just um, commit suicide. Come on, come to me. Got a few lives to get rid of. The point over me couldn't leave that alone. And I said Space Invaders was, you know, pretty much the first shoot 'em up. So, an excellent game. Um, as I said, I leapt in and into that game and I didn't have a look to see. So you can take, yeah, basically you've got one player, all two players, so take it taking turns. So, a very respectable Space Invaders game um, um, for the Sega SE 3000. All right, let's try those card games. The next, we have Load Runner, and it's actually Championship Load Runner is the card version. Now I'm sure I've got the uh, load runner cartridge for the Sega SC3000, and um, I'm sure that's just plain load runner. So that's very interesting. And you notice it has the edit functionality there, which I take it you can possibly um, uh, save the games to tape, uh, or even there was actually a disc unit for these machines as well, so we can go in there and edit. All right, so this is championship load runner. Championship load runner is quite hard. Uh, so this will be very interesting. So here comes the level. Okay, so we have quite a hard layout here. Oh no, I've made a mistake already. <laughs> That's right, I'm dead. Um, 
I mean, I, 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 with the um, thing of foresight to make sure the card catcher is working, I actually popped this in before. And this is an incredibly cruel and hard level to start you off on. Okay. Uh, I've got him down there, but I really needed him to fall down in the middle so we can go get those ones down there, see those? And as I said, from playing this, I already know that these are fall through, fall through blocks. Oh, well, I've managed to put both of them down there now. Oh, so, you see, there's no digging with these ones up the top here. I haven't actually worked out how I'm supposed to get those two blocks because you see once you go down into that um, bottom section you're pretty much stuck. Whoops, oh, well, see like now I can't get up there and if I go down further I am totally and utterly stuck. And the best I can do is go here. You see they don't have any of the box and I'm going to die so um, a very hard place to start you on, uh, but um, a, a welcome addition to the Load Runner collection. And as I said, it's got the editor too, so might have a bit of a play around with that as well. Alright, let's try the next game. The next one is Champion Golf. I'd also like to note that every single one of these cartridges started first time, no cleaning needed, and we're very good. Uh, so this is 1983, uh, off another original game by Logitech. Whether maybe they got it from the um, an early MSX title, maybe or something. I don't know. A 93 is pretty early. Okay, so uh, there's my dude up the top left, flashing dot down where I am. Okay, so this is where I'm aiming. I take it. Oh, I think I might have done a shot then. <laughs> How do you change the club? And right in the middle. Once again, this is probably one that reading the instructions would probably be extremely helpful. Right, so it's got auto club selection, so... Okay, so one button's not doing anything. No. Oh, I hit the tree. Okay, so we might want to move the dude. So up there. And I hit the tree again. Okay. We'll sort this out. Okay, I'm right over there. Okay, I really don't know what I'm doing with the swinging, so... So... I take it we've got to hit up there, and then hit at the right time, down there. I think I'm hitting it far too late. Okay, we are starting to get somewhere. Oh. <laughs> this is probably the worst demonstration of this game ever. Golf games can be pretty tricky to get the, um, you know, what you're supposed to do with the shots right. And this one gives is not giving any feedback on the little um, uh, no extra sound. Other than that, looks really good. No. We now go towards the hole. Really wish you could change. I mean, maybe there's actual keys that can be. Oh, there we go. The other button is doing something. So if we do 
Five. Now. So I did a slight flick there, the blinging dog barked and scared the living daylights out of me. Yeah, that's better. Bloop, bloop, bloop. Okay, we are getting closer to the green. Right, one. Doesn't seem to have a pitching wedge, so we better go for the nine iron, because that seemed to be going not very far before. Green on, okay. Wanted to get to the green because, you know, how games treat the green. So there's a slope going that way. It's important. So I take it we don't want to hit it too hard. But maybe not that soft. No. Oh, I actually think it's how long you hold the button down when you actually press the um, the shop button. Okay. No, you still need to press it at the top of the arc as well. Okay, so once at the top of the arc, then. Twenty-one shots. Excellent. All right, so some excellent titles for a computer I haven't, or in system that I haven't had any titles for a very long time. Um, and uh, the same seller looks to be selling some others. Um, so you never know, I might be able to get some more. Anyway, thanks for watching. Thanks to all my subscribers. Hope you've enjoyed this video, and I'll catch you next time.